I'm going to show you how to easily remove the suspension on your motorcycle. Let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! I'll tell you guys another reason why you should buy a dual sport, dirt bike, supermoto, etc. These type of bikes is because they're so much easier to work on than sport bikes with fairings. As you can see here, you have access to everything on this bike. Super easy, quick, and easy work on this bike, you know, especially with the suspension. As you can see here, I have access to the clamp bolts. Very easy, quick, and easy to take suspension off. Unlike the CBR 1000 WR, I've got to remove the mid fairings, the nose fairing, and the front fender. You definitely have to remove the, the nose fairing in order to get access to the clamp bolts. And I can tell you on this particular bike, taking this nose fairing off is an absolute pain in the butt. You have to remove air ducts, hoses, uh, you know, wire harnesses. Oh man, it just take probably definitely like 30, 40 minutes probably to take the fairings off of this bike. Pain in the butt. Taking the suspension off on this bike, so easy guys. As you can see, the clamp bolts right there, right there. Unlike the sport bikes with fairings, man. Um, but I want to give you some tips here guys before you take the fork tubes off on your motorcycle You have to make sure to make note of the fork tubes ab Above the triple tree how far they protrude above the triple tree as you can see there. This is up uh, Exactly three millimeters according to the manual uh, So you definitely don't want to put that back up flush because you could run into some issues so and you want to make note of that guys because you know when you take the tubes off and you go to put them back on you want to make sure it's installed correctly if you look at the cbr's fork tubes there see that hardly goes above the triple tree here it's just uh well you can see there it's it's different but you definitely want to make note of that maybe even take a picture of it so you don't forget so you make sure you install it correctly uh taking this off like i said super easy first off of course, you're going to have to take the uh, the front tire off. Obviously, in order to do that, you're going to have to remove, first off, you're going to remove the uh, brake caliper and you want to support it. I use a fishing line here and I just support it uh, hanging off the grip here. You don't want it hanging by its line. Definitely don't. Could cause some damage. Um, and of course, you're going to move the front wheel. And then all you need to do to take the fork tubes off on this bike is you need to loosen the clamp bolts. Now you have to be careful with this guys. Um, I would say loosen the clamp bolts at the top and then you want to loosen these slightly. You want to be careful though because with some bikes it could just slide down quickly and you want to be ready. So that's why you want to be careful with the, the uh, second clamp bolts here when you're loosening it. I can tell you with this WR250R you can completely even remove these bolts and this tube is not sliding out, at least with my bike. So here's a tip for you guys, is that you're gonna have to take a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna have to pry it, you're gonna have to pry the clamp open, but be ready because this will slide down. So you definitely wanna be ready because if you're not, the tube could slide down on the ground and cause damage to your fork. Okay, the rear shock is super easy as well. All you need to do, which I already removed the shock, uh, all you're going to do is you're going to remove the bolt here, excuse me, bolt here, bolt here, and then you're going to remove, um, loop, you're going to remove the nut and bolt at the top of here, and then all you're going to do is you're going to pull it out this side, and just pull it right out of here. But I want to give you a little tip here, guys. Whatever you do, do not try to remove this bolt here on the shock. Because if you do, the oil is going to shoot out, man. So definitely don't do that. But super easy, guys. But anyways, the reason why I'm removing the suspension on this bike is because I'm sending it in to GoRace.com. And they're going to do a rebuild and revalve on the suspension. And it's going to be absolutely awesome. I'm going to be able to take it to the MX Park, Trails, Street, and it's going to be beautiful, guys. Um, and by the way, to give you a little tip... If you want to send your suspension in, the best way to do it is to get you a gun case. Wrap it with bubble wrap and then put it in the gun case and make sure you insure it for whatever dollar amount, at least $1,000 or whatever. And uh, I, I, I believe 
that Go Race does other suspensions as well, but he is an expert with the WR250R suspension. So for those of you that have the WR250R and you want an expert to handle your suspension at GoRace.com, his name is Travis, and tell him Cycle Cruise has sent you, and uh, he'll hook you up, guys. I'm telling you, and this is probably the, the best mod you can do on your WR250R is upgrading the suspension. Um, I can tell you guys, the OEM suspension can be downright dangerous sometimes, man, especially when you try to do jumps on this bike, man. But the great thing about the WR250R is that it comes with suspension that you can easily upgrade. That's Anyways, guys, I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, next week, I'll probably be doing a video on to show you how to easily and quickly change your grips in less than five minutes with no residue on your bars. So stay tuned for that. I still have yet to do a review video on this motorcycle fold-up trailer here, which, by the way, I'll include links in the description and comment section of this video uh, to stuff I mentioned. But anyways, guys, for those of you guys that want to get my motorcycle gear, you know, my camel pants, my helmet, gloves, cameras, everything, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear. And those are current links to all of my stuff. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,100 plus videos. And one of those playlists is called How To's. So I hope that helps you out. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, share this video with your friends. Hey, guys. Super easy to remove the suspension. It's not that big of a deal. I'll tell you guys, I think each and every one of you should work on your own bike. You'll become closer with your bike. I'll tell you, this is the best significant other that you can have. She'll never, <laughs> she's somebody you can trust. But anyways, guys, also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. That showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything bug out moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.